Hello, Dungeons, and welcome back to. I almost said Dungeons and Douchebags, but that's not this show. Welcome back to Hyperspeed. The show I try to speed and rage games while drinking Red Bull. Um, and also get really pissed at times. Um, I think this game's a little too charming for me to get fully pissed at it, but um, I am starting to get a little pee. Actually, when I since I started playing this game, I've, I've been stopping around the time when I started to get genuinely pissed. Um, you know, because as long as I'm hyped up with energy drinks, I've been enjoying it. And then when I started to come down from the energy drink high, it was the moment when I started to get really frustrated with the games. Like, genuinely frustrated. So I haven't really been that frustrated on camera yet. Um, but we'll see if that ends today, because today I intend on beating this game one way or another. Um, and hopefully I have enough time to do so. Because uh, I only have about three hours to record this. And we've already spent half an hour getting fucked by this ghost. Honestly, a ghost is probably not the worst thing to get fucked by. Um, I think a skeleton would be would be worse. Because, um, you know, he bones you real hard. Yeah, I did just make that joke. Yes, I am fucking mentally retarded. Shit. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. I really should have just moved the thing myself. I don't know why I tried to let the brick move it for me. That's alright. All aboard, next stop, your funeral. Welcome to the ghost train. I haven't started the timer yet, so I'm gonna do that. Probably gonna die in the process. Nope, he actually didn't even start firing. Thank you, ghost. It's very courteous of you to wait to start firing until after I check my switch my timer on. God damn it. Alright, that's fair. That is fair. Um, I've actually noticed that, uh, this, um... The screen down here that's recording um, is running almost fast enough for me to play the game while looking at it, rather than the screen up there, which I'm currently doing, but that's a bad idea. Anyway, I kind of knew I was going to die that time anyway. I think we've gotten to the point thus far in the game that um, every phase of every boss is going to be a challenge, so it's time that I start to actually really focus in, hone in. Uh, hone my skills and become the master that I know I am. Alright. Master. Master my aster. Um. I think that maybe, maybe a valid strategy for this first phase, uh, it would be a little bit safer if maybe, um, rather than using the tracing shots because. Um, it's able to hit the boss. Since I'm not hitting the boss too much with the shots anyway, maybe I should switch to the shotgun shots because it's almost guaranteed to get rid of the eyeballs, and then just rely on the parrying to get enough shoot supercharge to kill him with the supers alone. Um, I think that might also be a valid strategy. I don't want to use the second super because I know I can beat this guy without using it. But then of course I take damage because I didn't use the super. Um, great. Anyway, um, I wanted to save the super for this phase because I don't like this phase. But then again, I really can't use the super during this phase because his head is such a fucking dick. Alright, well, I'm gonna- I'm dead here. Ah, I did find the sweet spot. I had a feeling I might. There is a sweet spot on all of these, um, where you can stand without moving the cart. Um, but it's pretty small and hard to hit. Okay. Oh, nice. He actually positioned himself well for me that time. Alright, I can still do this. Um, it's gonna be difficult. Um, but like I said, all the phases of this are pretty much equally hard. Um, now, not one of them is not like so hard that I have to uh, give, ev give up on everything else just to hit it. Um, but also, the early ones are decently hard so that like I don't feel like shit if I get hit during them. Except for maybe the first phase. The first phase, understandably, like, I would rather not be hit during. It really sucks to be hit right at the beginning, you know, right when you're getting started. Alright, cool. He's dealt with. So now, now this phase, um, I think I need to be in the middle. Um, I just have to, okay, so, the fire doesn't start until I open his chest, which makes sense. God damn it. I didn't know that bone was coming, because I've never fought him before. Uh, I mean, I fought him before, but it was uh, a long time ago, and I forgot how to beat him. 
Um, and I've, I, what I meant was I haven't fought that phase for very long before in this run of the game. I've never really gotten very far into that phase. I'm gonna try that other strategy that I said, um, because I feel like it might be a little bit more reliable. And also I can stand a little bit farther forward, which will make the parrying easier. And actually, now that I'm doing it, it does look like it's actually hitting the- oh no, it's not. Oh, it is a little bit when he starts doing his uh, attack animation. So yeah, I think I think this is probably the the better strap here. So first phase, we use the shotgun shot. It'll take him out quicker. I can get some parries in um, and take him out mostly with the super. Um, I think that that appears to be the the better strat here. Um, with this one, I think maybe I should stop focusing so much on uh, moving the train and just try to uh, get into that sweet spot because the sweet spot strat seems to be working for the most part. Um, and if I don't focus on moving the train, then I don't have to worry about parrying the bricks, and the bricks don't become much of a threat anymore. Uh, also, it looks like I'm able to get more damage in on him and end him quicker. All right, so this is this has been a good run. I think this these two new strats have been the better way to deal with it. Now, this one, I definitely have to move the cart, because you physically cannot uh, deal with this part without moving the cart. Um, you just, there's just nowhere to stand while he does that attack. I really thought that was going to land on the parry thing. It did not, though. So, then this one, this phase I feel like isn't too hard as long as you pay attention to the ghosts. Because, uh, the ghosts are the real threat here. Um, I don't know why I just walked off the panel. Um, I was trying to shoot at an angle, and I didn't press R1 to... Oh, goddammit. Of course the ghost hits that thing. It's alright, it's alright. This just means we're going into the last phase with only, uh, one health again. Which is a nuisance, but not the end of the world. Surprised that didn't move my cart and fuck me. Um, so yeah, I think this is pretty doable. I jumped right into that like an idiot. I was going for the parry. I really shouldn't have taken that risk. I should have just moved aside and let it happen. Um, but I didn't. So that's the situation we're in. I find it really difficult to parry falling objects in this game because of um, the way that... Uh, well, certain falling objects, because these bricks, I feel like, were made, actually, now that I'm looking at them, were made to be parried, um, because they don't fall like you, like something would actually fall in real life. They fall in a direct line at a constant pace, um, meaning that then uh, it's easier to hit them. Uh, it's easier to predict their movement. Um, but those skulls, I think, actually accelerate as they uh, fall. Um, which is actually what things would do, um, and makes this really frustrating to deal with. Uh, so maybe don't go for those little skulls. This put me in a bad place, but it's not the worst place. I can handle it. This is, oh, God damn it. I tried to, um, uh, account for the movement of the cart, um, in order to move myself into the space where um, that would be most effective. But that didn't work. That strat did not work. I'm gonna focus on one head first because then I won't have to keep moving back and forth. I can just stay on one side, you know, um, if I take out that one head first. Right, so now I have to deal with this head, which um, I just fucked myself. Yep. I really did there. Um, I managed to survive it, um, but it didn't go very well at all. <laughs> I'm gonna use my ult to get rid of this phase, I don't want to deal with it anymore. He's, he's giving me some trouble this time, so... Okay, now... Now it's all about the heart. It's all about what's in here. Or in this case, what's in that weird flaming metal uh, area where his heart is. So, I just need to keep an eye out for those bones, because they, they start moving very quickly once they hit the ground. Um, God damn it! I say that, and then immediately after, I stop paying attention to the bones. Maybe if I save my ult for that last phase, it might work. Because it seems like, for the most part, other than when some flukes happen, it seems like I have the other phases down pretty well now. Um, so what I should worry about is that last phase, and if I save my ult for that last phase, um, maybe I'll be able to deal with it. Um, I'm still gonna use my ult in this first phase because I really wanna 
Well, maybe not, because the shotgun shots do appear to be hitting him. Um, so I might actually, yeah, see, I can get through the phase without, without ulting once. So that's good. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I just jumped into that like a fucking idiot. God damn it. This is bad. This is going bad. Alright, that's it. I'm using the alt during this phase. I don't want to be in this phase anymore. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I walked into that because I tried to do the... I don't know what it is. I am us I usually don't do that. But I'm doing that thing where um, I try to do the angular shot while not pressing R1. And I just walk because of that. Which, yeah, that's what'll happen. Because that's what input that makes it. But um, I really shouldn't be doing that. And it's highly frustrating me. I don't know why I keep doing it. But, oh well. So maybe I use my ult on the second phase, because that one's the one that's been giving me trouble recently. And then, um, after that, save my ult for the third phase. Hopefully he doesn't damage me. Yeah, he will damage me. That's what I, that's what I thought. I say, hopefully he doesn't damage me while his, with his head while he does that, but... no, nope, he did. We're actually all out. Of Red Bull today. But that's alright, we're gonna keep going. We can beat this boss, definitely. Um, hopefully we'll be able to beat the other two. But they are hard, so... We'll see. We'll see if I actually manage to beat this game today. I might not, at this rate, honestly. If I don't get through this boss in the next couple of tries, it's probably gonna be a no. Um, because I... I have enough Red Bull in my system now to go for a little while, but probably not forever. Um, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get real, real tired. Um, pretty soon. I don't know why I did that. I, that's the one that I usually let hit me, because I want to be moved. God damn it! why do I keep jumping in that phase? I really can't do that. Unless I'm here. There I can jump from. Never mind! I can't jump because I can't air correct for uh, the movement um, without being hit by one of his limbs. Uh, so I really can't jump during that phase. And I don't know why I keep letting myself jump like an idiot. Hey, thanks for moving me where I could easily hit my target. I have my ult again, so I'm going to use it on these guys. Um, right off the bat so that I don't have to de deal with one of them, hopefully. Um, hopefully at all. Oh, he's gonna do it once, so. There's your one attack. That's the one attack you get, buddy. I hope you enjoyed it. You're not gonna get another attack in, because I'm gonna kill you right now. That's what I thought. I'm gonna switch to, uh, tracing shots with this one, because now that there's only one of them, he can't hit me on this side of the screen. Which means I'm safe on this side of the screen. Uh, so I'm gonna stay here, and then use the launch the long-range tracing shots to deal with them. Okay. Now here we go. Maybe on this one, um, I should switch to tracing shots. I'm gonna try it just once. Uh, switch to tracing shots, and see if, um, if I focus on the dodging primarily. I didn't know that would stop before getting to the cart, if I was lower, if I was up in the air. I didn't know that. I was not aware of that behavior. Well. One more try, and then that's probably going to be the end of this episode. It will be two episodes we spent on this boss, which I was expecting to be more the type of thing to happen in the last two bosses, not on this one. Um, this is getting harder earlier than I thought. I didn't expect the ghost train to be this hard. I knew it was a hard boss, I didn't expect to be spending more than two episodes on it. God damn it! You're after a bad start, too. You know what? I'm just going to restart on this one. There's no cost to restarting at this point because I'm out of Red Bull. Um, I, I know I don't I don't usually like to do that. Um, I mean, I, I did a lot when I played this game for testing uh, to make sure that... And when I played it on my own because I enjoyed it. Uh, and when I played it to make sure that it was okay to play on this uh, show. Um, I did restart a lot. Um, because I knew, you know, what sections needed to be... I needed to save health for. But I've been trying not to do that on this show because I find it a lot less interesting. But there's certain bosses that are just really difficult. And... Um, at certain times, like now, when I really want to get get a good try in before the end of the episode, um, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna cut my losses and see what I can do. 
There we go. That dealt him some damage. Let's move to the center. He's gonna move me. That's fine. It's timed in such a way now that the br next brick will not move me until the middle of a phase. So that's for the better. Okay, we're in a good we're in a good place. Move me, move me. Thank you. That was conveniently timed. All right, we got a lot of good luck on this one. This one's gonna fuck me though. I I don't know why I like overcorrected. Like I pre-corrected before it was a problem. I moved too early, and it just kind of screwed me there. I shouldn't have done that, honestly. I would have been fine, probably, if I didn't. Uh, it's alright, though. It's just one health. I can actually still deal with this. Um, get out of here with your stupid fucking bricks. Stop with the bricks, man. Second phase is over. Get out of here. I'm gonna focus one of these heads. Hopefully I can prevent him from doing his attack at all. Which will make this phase real easy. Um, actually, just in case, though, I should probably move myself. No! Shit, that was bad. That was a bad situation I just put myself in. Okay, well luckily I killed him before he got to me. I don't know why I moved back to the center, that was a bad decision. I need to go back to tracing shots and be on the side. Um, that one's gonna move me, but it's fine because he's already past his prime. Here we go. Die before you get to me, please, thank you. Alright. He's gonna move me again, but that's fine. I can, I can take it. Oh, never mind. Alright, I'll just take being in the center. Hey, listen, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to play here. Um, now I'm gonna ult his last phase. I have an ult, it's the last phase, this is a good time to do this. I'm gonna wait, however, for the first bone to come out, because I don't want to get caught uh, with my pants down again, like I did last time. Damn it! Ah! Alright, that was close. Hopefully next time we'll beat him on the first try. Thanks for watching, and stay interested.